right now we are about to head into the doctor. Now we're gonna go find out how your heart's going to play into our children's lives. Our futures. Not even necessarily our futures. I think that this appointment is our more- futures, futures, futures. Uh-huh. This appointment is more for us to find out what it means for people that share genes with you. Yummy. Oh, 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 there you go. We're having a good morning over here. Pumpkin pancakes and homemade whipping cream. No syrup, just a little bit of homemade whipping cream on the side. Budamas. In fact, Beckham was just telling me he wants this for his breakfast breakfast. He wants pizza for lunch, mashed potatoes for dinner. But the day before, he also wants French toast, right? Just in case. We could maybe fit four pills in there. Where'd your food go? Oh, do you need some more? Well, let me tell you about an eventful thing that just happened to us. Oh, we match. This is cute. Oh, this is cute. We're cute. We're adorbs. So, on our way down here, we actually drove separate carts. Judy's been like 45 minutes this way in Centerville, Utah, having a work meeting. And so, I got the kids all situated with my little sister. What's your heart? I just. I feel like since your hearts have happened, like she has just Perfect. been there over and over. Thank you. Just oh, appreciate her so much. Yeah. Anyways, so I got them situated with my sister and um, headed down here, and I'm going on the highway. Clifford's AC went out yesterday. Did I tell you that? The big red van, Clifford the big okay. red van. The AC went out again. So we're like now. 1800-ish dollars into AC in our life. And it went out again. Anyway, so that's yesterday. So today I'm driving, I forgot. I get in the car, I'm getting on the highway, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so hot. And I have to do this for an hour. Like, okay, I can, I can do this. This is first world, world problems. I'm driving, and all of a sudden it like, I'm one exit away from where I'm supposed to be meeting Judy. And all of a sudden it goes like ding, 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 ding. And it look, look, like lurches me weird on the highway going 75 miles an hour. And scare, it honestly, it really scared me. So I like slow down to like 50, get on the back in the far right lane. Cause I'm like, this could stop at any second. I don't know what's going on. And then this big like battery sign showed up in the corner. So I called JD and I'm like, I don't know what's wrong, but I'm a little bit scared. Anyways, I heard and got off the exit. Um, it was probably like two, three more miles. Got off the exit and parked. And now we've got to figure it out. JD's dad doesn't think, he thinks it's maybe an alternator. He's very good at this kind of thing and he thinks it might be an alternator. So he said he, we probably won't be even able to get it home. It's now like 40 minutes from our house. Anyways, we're gonna deal with that problem after because right now we are about to head into the doctor. The doctor. For genetic counseling. I actually don't know if they're a doctor necessarily. I don't genetic know what kind specialist. of- A genetic specialist. Maybe they're like a PhD in genetics. I'm sure you can get yeah. that, right? Maybe they're a doctor. We're gonna find out. We are heading in for our genetic counseling appointment. So this was set up like five months ago when all of this heart stuff started. Now we're gonna go find out how your heart's going to play into our children's lives. Our futures. Not even necessarily our futures. I think that this appointment is our more- futures, futures, futures. Uh-huh. This appointment is more for us to find out what it means for f people that share genes with you. Like my great grandkids. You well, feeling okay? Let's do it. We felt a little heavy in the hearts, but we're gonna be fine, huh? We have each other. Yep. That's all I need. Actually, on our way to remember that hand we gave last night that apparently I blew. No. We 
We are on our way to a business dinner tonight. Just the two of us. We're excited about it. But it's been go, go, go. We got out of the doctor, stopped at Three Believe, went home, like, dragged the car, limped it across the finish line. We're getting it in Monday. I have no hope. I have no hope. A couple more days. Yes. Anyways, so we are now on our way to business dinner. But before we do, we want to give you an update. Moral of the story is there's good news, bad news, and news we don't know about. I would say it's mostly good news. Don't you feel like that? I feel like I am 90% actually. I maybe had worked myself up for significantly worse news than we got. So we were just told before, like, they found something. That's all I'm going to say. So we were trying to figure out what that meant for us. They did not find anything currently based off of current technology that would tell us why he, his heart uh, had that episode it did. So we are no closer to getting him healthy, which is a big bummer. But um, also good that like he doesn't have a genetic thing that will pass that on to our children. She said that genes that uh, cardiac genetics are in their infancy and basically that oh, it doesn't mean five years from now they won't be able to tell us genetically something caused it. So she's like, we're not ruling out that this is genetic. That being said, it's not like your brothers probably also have cardio, cardio myopathy or something. Um, they did find a single copy. So in your DNA, in order for you to have a disease, this is like explaining to you like I'm five, right? In order for you to have a disease, you have to have both parents give you the gene for it. So a lot of us carry around diseases and we don't have them because like our other parent didn't. And so your body's like, well, if I can pick, I'm going to pick the one that doesn't, right? Um, he is a, has a single copy of he, he, hemo, hemochromatosis, which oh. is, thank you. I had a, hemo means blood. I had to go through it all. Um, he, what, do you want to hold this one? Sure. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Okay. So he has a single copy. And that means that if I also carry it, our children will have that disease or so have a really chance of it. Not. I really hope you don't. I hope I don't either. So I actually, now the testing is my turn to okay. get tested. So that's fine. Um, we'll start setting that up tomorrow. I don't know how long it'll take. This one took five months, so we'll see. <laughs> but um, so we'll find out if I'm a carrier. Uh, we did find out that based off of the symptoms that JD has and the way that they kind of don't know some of the answers with high blood pressure related to your genes I our children need to get some EKGs so that's not the greatest news uh, they said that they recommend it from the age that they no longer have to be sedated so Rocky won't have one but probably Palmer on up is gonna have to visit the doctor for an EKG um, and then once we decide if I am a carrier then our children will get tested if not if I'm not a carrier they actually don't suggest our children get tested until they're ready to make the decision on if they want to have kids um which I kind of was like no I want to know now but they're like no but we just we don't even want to test them until we find out so she explains this so well guys she does thanks so, anyway Okay. So that's the update. Are yep. we late? I think we're late. We, we gotta I maybe going. could tell you more about it, but I don't also want to have a bad impression on this there. So yep. we're we're gonna go to a yummy yummy dinner and chicken with the kids when we get home. All right. All right, so we just got done. It was so fun. So such a good business dinner. Fun to get to know these guys. So grateful for them. And you guys will understand what I'm saying uh, here very soon when we drop that that vlog um, of what we were doing. But the kids are uh, Babysitter's awesome. We have uh, them doing some coloring and uh, making books and all sorts of Halloween stuff. So super fun. And um, it's time to say goodnight, guys. Hey, Palmer, Beckham, Rocky, or uh, Caitlin. It's time to say goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night. Time for bed. Palmer's the first one in bed. Okay, say goodnight, everybody. Good night. Back home, I want to hear a good night. Good night. Awesome. I, want, I get to be the last one in bed. Palmer, say good night. Good night. Hey, good night from the Mowers. Peace out, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.
Thank you.